Howdy, howdy. Ice Bay Shuttle Bill, it ain't my fault. And you know, you know I spared this truck as long as I could. And I know exactly what you're gonna say and think right now. Pull the tailgate off for you. <laughs> Hey man, I think we need another Navy sticker. This one done gave up. Yeah, imagine that, Navy falling apart. No, actually, United States has a world-class Navy. All right, we got our first truck here, so we need to get the rack out of the way, get this car out of the way, lower the crusher, turn it off. That stuff is down there. That K frame, get it moved. Well, I've run out of cars. I just, I, I texted the owner and I'm like, hey man. You do got other jobs. And I, that's not me being a. Uh, too big for my britches, that's what my boss told me to tell him. I just, I just relayed a message. Hey Bill, this ain't the place. This guy's gonna charge me for that bed. I mean that tailgate. I know, I know. You'll say, um, uh, you'll pay me back. I know you will. But this just ain't the place. It's, these guys, these guys, in, I mean, I don't let it offend me, but these guys, they, they look in the truck as we're driving throughout the, through the gate when we leave the yard. It's, and that's fine. I don't know who came over here and ripped them off. But hey, it's, it's whatever. Some people, a couple of guys get offended by it. I don't, like whatever. There's only one way to really establish trust. <laughs> Right? I mean, you gotta, you gotta test it. But this just really ain't the, the place to ask for stuff. It's just not. All this time they gave him the key. Usually they send somebody over here. That should be fine. Let's get this rack out of the way. There's a couple boats need to go down there and pick up. I saw I did get I had I had some grease and I got the forks and the lifting arms. But uh these turning arms over here, there's there's not even a grease fit in there. They're that neoprene or whatever. And I've been told that you have to replace the whole shaft of the of the piston. You can't just pull it off, knock those out and press some other ones back in. That's what I've been told. That's what I've been told. I don't know what this is on top of this car. It's bright neon yellow and it has just been driving me nuts. But I keep forgetting to walk over. I got some time now. It's been driving me nuts what it is. It's some uh, wall claw hanging stuff on your walls. I'm actually needing some of these. But why are they neon green if they go inside the wall? I mean, wouldn't it cost more to print them out neon green, yellow, 
then it would be just I mean I don't know white or just like whatever the most cheapest color to make I don't really I mean unless you're hanging your all your stuff up at night I don't sometimes I think about stuff like that we all got our ways of passing time all right let's get this truck in here And uh, it's, it's washed out. Joel, when he was um, when he dropped off the crusher, he barely. I might have to go over there and move something. Dang! I don't see Mario waving at me. Dang! I'll grab a bundle. What's I think I figured out? here let's run five that's our first load let's run five and then we'll check the weight we'll call dispatch in the morning and ask them what the weight was Container, and that's usually where I put my bundles. And it's more, it's a little more dry and solid over there. I got a, I got a window out of here one time, and I, I paid fifty bucks for it. a door window for a Honda, a window glass. Neon Ninja, I think. Yeah, that's Neon Ninja. Uh, you know what my dad says when he comes, when he taught me driving and when it comes to backing up? I'll try to say it the nice way. He said, back up until you smell poop or hear the glass break. All right. I can load two. I can load the front, load the middle, and then uh, he can pull up and I get the back. What up, Neon Ninja? What's... Alright, so... I don't know what that guy was thinking. I mean, if he pulls up close enough, I could take a fork, stick it through the window, lift the car up over the trailer and set him down and going about his business. <laughs> we can do it that way. Hey! One of these days I'm gonna go over and do a video and go meet my buddy Big Dave. There's a reason why it's called Big Dave. And um, he used to come up to the junkyard where I was working at needing parts. He got bad ankles. So I would I'd put I'd find a car and I'd put him in a car and I'd pick him up with them with a loader, I had them big old long forks. I'd pick him up. <laughs> I carry him where we needed to go. Well, you got to get him to tell a story. He said, "Well, he was the one in the car, and we didn't do it once. We did it a handful of times." Oh, remember I said he's big day. We got oh, he's working on a super awesome. I think it's a '57, uh, '55 Chevy truck. I don't want to give away too much, but he's done put electric windows in it. Uh, I think he's got an LT1 motor in it. Yeah. That's right, we're going to go ahead and run five. The Ninja, he's, he, he, he's, he sets his trailer all the way up before we do anything. It is what it is.
That's one of them deals where you just kind of, you got to feel your way in there just as much as you see what's going on. Come on, put, no, don't roll it back just like that. Come on. I'm going to have to get under it some more. Maybe we got it this time. It ain't easy being easy. Don't doubt the cowboy. The hardest deal is I had this little red car right here behind me. I don't want to tear it up. Golly, I know I'm going to have to call the tire guy. I spent 20 minutes this morning airing up two tires. I hate calling the tire guy. Ah, believe I mean, look at all this mud and slop. You can't, it's a, you can see the bolts in both the tire look like body bolts, but I mean, we've been working in all this slop and we go to a lot of places where they pull their motors out. Y'all know what happens every time you move a car, something's gonna fall off. Slop is deep. You, ain't, you can't see what's in there. I don't know. I just feel like when I call a tire guy, I'm not contributing. Like I. Like I didn't earn my key. I wish I would have made video of this flatbed, but um, I, I had no, my battery wasn't, I had low battery. And uh, when I was on the road trip, I left my, so I took my charger cord, my big long one, and I ain't put it back in the loader yet. Well, anyway, this bed, it was set up for like a welder. And, um, when the truck come in, a guy offered him 700, 750 bucks, and he was like, no, no. The owner was telling me this when we were walking around. He's like, no, man, uh, he said he was busy. And Anyway, I was like, dude, that, 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 that's a, yeah, there's people that want flatbeds, but that's like set up for some a particular deal. Like, you're not gonna find that many customers. Yeah, I know, I know, man, I know, I know. <laughs> like it's specialty Adam specialty customer right there oh that thing's heavy oh, oh, oh let go straight it out I never got off the loader and actually looked at it but them two round deal there deals there they're like uh, they're like pot caps I'm almost thinking it's like welding rods. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just, I never actually got off, like I said, got off the loader and put my hands on it. I hope y'all don't mind a little load them up. Hey, y'all wanna hear something? They done, they done, um, the words done got out at the mill. And uh, everybody out there calls him Neon Ninja. Like that's it, that's it. This is this nickname is stuck. I said even the meal, they call him the ninja. The neon ninja. That's awesome. Freaking awesome. This one ain't no this ain't no light one either. Easy, come on. I don't want to nose dive and smash some pretty car out here. What's that, a 350Z or something like that? All right. Let me straighten up a little better, Jess. He throws both them chains. Shoulder burn. Mario, let's see. Come on, see. <laughs> 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 
It's taller than Mario. Poor guy. Um, Mario, it's all inside the door. You're gonna have to come over here and fix it, Mario. It's all, it's all, it's all. It's inside the door. I didn't throw the porta. Let's get it up here and see where he wants it. Let's chain this down and then we'll um, pull forward a little bit. No biggie. No biggie. I think that was somebody's pride and joy. Now, might not have been their fault, but what would you naturally assume? Squeeze it. Press it now. Hey, did you ever get a set of nunchucks? I seen some practice foam ones out there at Trader's Village. I thought about getting me a set. I'm for real, man. When I was a kid, I had some. And my dad, my, I wanted the real deal. My dad was like, no, dude. I think I was like 10 or 12. Hey, for Christmas, I got the whole deal. I got the ninja boots with like the split toes. I had, this, I had the, the, the black outfit, the mask. Yeah, some nunchucks, some foam ones. I had like two or three Bruce Lee pictures on my wall. What was that? 83, 85? Dude, my mom hated it. Cause I used to blow them snot rockets like Bruce Lee did right before he whooped her butt. You know, he'd like shh, shh. She's like, oh, that's disgusting. I wouldn't do it in the house, you know what I mean? But. She hated it. I better square up. Ain't no need hitting it on the angle when I can back straight up. Good ride. So he's standing in between the tires. That's how, I mean, there's no other way to do this. Huh, what do y'all think about that? Bucks and bugs. Yeah, you like it? All right, let's get these last ones set. Got a little bit of time to crush something. I don't really have, I mean, those two cars right there, and uh, it's 239. We'll have this load, we'll have him out of here in the next 10 minutes. Whoo! 
there's just a certain number we're supposed to hit every day. And it's like somehow, whether it's the customer's fault, you know, I still, I still feel the pressure. And I mean, you're supposed to do that at your job. You're supposed to worry about hitting a number. And really it's about, man, is there any way we can do two more than the number we did yesterday? That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's how you keep your job. Never went over and put my hands on it. Hmm. Adios, Neon Ninja. We'll see you next time. Depending on where they send him, he might actually come back for another one. Looks like a new set of shocks in there. I know it's dark, but everything looks shiny. Those wheels are pretty freaking popular. Oh, that truck's got two tanks on it and a spare tires covering the... Dang, we're going to have to get that off there. Dang, 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 dang. I don't think I'm going to be able to just tear that without flipping the truck off of it. Maybe we can get to it now. Maybe. It ain't easy out here. Every vehicle's gonna be different. There's always something on, on everything. You gotta figure it out. You will be challenged. Let me ask you. Hey, the Yanta no problema or mas afuera? The dos tancas. Is it problem for Vasil the tanker or no? No, no problem. Okay, okay. Oh, he's got a receiver. What? Is it just a pin, or are you gonna have to bust it off with a hammer? He's like, where's my hammer? Oh, got him a receiver. Got him a trailer hitch or a ball. Space Shuttle Bill's down in um, Florida. And he's taking them 90 model Fords or OBS Fords. And um, he's going through them. I think it's, they call it a frame off restoration. He's, I think he's done three or four of them already that I know of. There are two, two of them that I know of already. And um, I mean, he's going through them and he, he's slicking them up, folks. He's been sending me pictures. And he's, he's he's getting offers of 15 and up for these for these trucks after he gets done with them. I mean, he goes through and he puts them all back factory. I, I couldn't even talk him into a cam. I'm like, man, you got the motor open, you're there. You can put a little bigger cam in it and you don't got to change the computer or do nothing else. Maybe I'll get him to, um, he don't do the Facebook or that kind of stuff. Maybe I can get him to, See if, he, see if I can at least uh, share some pictures on the, the Facebook uh, buddies deal. Sorry about the glare, it's that time of day. I'm gonna probably stop recording here in a minute. But I call him Space Shuttle Bill because uh, he was the nighttime maintenance operation manager for all the space shuttles. He retired from NASA. Yeah, <laughs> he watches. He watches me. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're like family. Let's see here. Crush job. I 
don't want to call the tire guy, but more than likely I'm going to have to. I mean, I can air my tires up overnight and maybe, that one on the back, it was like, it was flat. I was worried though. And, and oh, and also, I can park closer to the air. I, I'll just park right here in front of the crusher. That way we got air in the morning. Because I had to, I made the mistake of parking the motor away from the air. And I had to, I had to ease back make sure I didn't break the bead or cut the sidewall on that, on that tire. I better call him while we ain't got no rain. Mess around and really need him because I waited so long and then all of a sudden it's muddy and nasty and wet. Tire man be really mad at me. All right, folks. Well, I guess we can. Should we put Bill through it? He's gonna be mad. Hey, you remember Bill? We tried. I, that thing's been marked for crush like two, three times. I've been out here and I'm like, hang on, dude. It's got tilt steering. It's got this. People are liking these trucks. Anyway. I got just a couple bits and pieces that we try to keep going for a few minutes. But hey, uh, ah, no, there. All right, that Dodge pickup. Was that a cab off of a 250 or something? Yellow deal right there. Boy, that's a big old trash pile, ain't it? Now there's one car right here, but all of this is product. Everything else around it, that's all parts for sale. Really wasn't wanting to. They've been they've been occasionally when the loader operator gets a chance, he's been helping me, you know, dig or he'll get the stuff out of the way and then I'll go get it, which that's fine. That's fine. You don't gotta pull it out for me. Just let me get to it. Folks, I've decided that what we're going to do <coughs> with this time waiting on this guy to mark some more cars, we're going to take his truck, we're going to clean that crusher out. It's time. We do it all the time. We, I mean, it's, it's it's time. That's about where it needs time. So, uh, plus Mario's got some more things he needs to do on this truck. Plus, we don't want to put old Bill through it, right? Don't want nobody mad at us. <laughs> Like that ain't ever happened before on this channel. <laughs> but he's my buddy. He's, him, the kids love him too. Y'all be careful, be kind. Thank ya. Hug you babies. <laughs>